Torture is like genocide and slavery. It is a destroyer of humanity and dignity. Uh, therefore, everything must be done uh, to ensure that it is absolutely prohibited. It is completely um, morally reprehensible. It must remain a taboo. Bueno, la, la definición de tortura a la larga es uno de los conceptos o los derechos humanos más difícil de definir. La primera es que universalmente el concepto más amplio es el que da la Convención contra la Tortura, la Convención de las Naciones Unidas. El acto, cualquiera que sea, puede ser físico, puede ser una afectación moral, puede ser una amenaza eh, realizada con la intención de perjudicar y afligir a una persona, de dañarla su aflicción, eh, por un funcionario público o por un particular actuando eh, con la quiesencia de, de infusión. The optional protocol to the Convention Against Torture is it's such an important treaty, such an important breakthrough in, the prevent, in preventing torture and ill treatment worldwide because it proposes a system of regular visits to all places of detention in any country that ratifies uh, this international treaty. Well, it's absolutely crucial to open up places of detention to inspection by independent bodies because people who are detained are completely at the mercy of those who detain them. They can't escape, they can't take responsibility for their own care. They're in the hands, they're dependent on others for their safety, for their survival, and for their well-being. We know that actually when you give that sort of power to people, no matter how decent they are, that there's a potential for abuse unless there are proper checks and balances, unless there is visibility.